There is something moving through the forest, silent, powerful, and unknown. A predator from another time, concealed by the night, stalking through the ancient world. This is the dire wolf, a colossal canine that roamed North and South America during the late Pleistocene and early Holocene, between 250,000 and 13,000 years ago. Larger, stronger, and more fearsome than any wolf alive today, it was built for domination, a relentless hunter with bone-crushing jaws and a pack mentality that made it one of the deadliest predators of its time. Today, we venture into the past to uncover the secrets of this legendary beast. The dire wolf, scientifically known as Canis dirus, belonged to the family Canidae within the order Carnivora. Despite its resemblance to modern wolves, it was not a direct ancestor of Canis lupus, the gray wolf we know today. Instead, it was a distinct species, separated by hundreds of thousands of years of evolution. Standing up to 38 inches at the shoulder and weighing between 110 and 150 pounds, the dire wolf was larger and more robust than any wolf alive today. Its powerful frame and massive skull made it one of the apex predators of the Ice Age. Unlike the lean and agile gray wolf, Canis dirus had shorter legs and a stockier build, making it less suited for long-distance running. Instead, it relied on brute strength and powerful jaws to subdue large prey. This anatomical difference suggests that dire wolves were ambush predators, using their size and pack coordination to take down megafauna. Their dominance was undeniable, but even the mightiest of beasts cannot escape the grip of time. As the world changed, the dire wolf would face challenges that would ultimately lead to its downfall. For centuries, scientists believed the dire wolf was simply a larger, more powerful version of the modern gray wolf, but recent genetic studies have uncovered a surprising truth. While both belong to the Kennedy family, dire wolves are not direct ancestors of gray wolves, Canis lupus. Instead, they belong to a separate evolutionary branch that diverged nearly six million years ago. Their closest living relatives are not wolves at all, but rather African jackals. This genetic distinction was so significant that scientists reclassified the dire wolf into a new genus, Anosian, meaning terrible wolf. Unlike Canis lupus, which adapted to a wide range of habitats and evolved into numerous subspecies, dire wolves remained specialized predators of the Pleistocene. Their powerful jaws and heavy build suggest they evolved to hunt large megafauna a strategy that worked well until their prey began to disappear. While their distant relatives survived by adapting to new environments, dire wolves were ultimately left with no path forward in an ever-changing world. The dire wolf thrived in a world dominated by giants. Its primary prey included large herbivores, such as ancient bison, bison antiquus, camels, camelops, giant ground sloths, and even juvenile mammoths. These animals were far larger than modern ungulates, requiring coordinated pack strategies and immense strength to bring them down. Fossil evidence from the La Brea tar pits suggests that dire wolves frequently scavenged as well, competing with other Ice Age predators for carcasses. Their powerful jaws and bone-crushing teeth allowed them to consume nearly every part of a kill, maximizing the nutrients they could extract from each hunt. But the dire wolf was not the only predator stalking the Ice Age plains. It faced fierce competition from other apex carnivores, including the American lion, 
Panthera atrox, the short-faced bear, Arctotus simus, and, most notably, the saber-toothed cat, Smilodon fatalis. Smilodon was built for ambush hunting, with massive fangs designed to deliver fatal bites to the throat of its prey. The short-faced bear, standing over 11 feet, 3.4 meters tall when on its hind legs, was a formidable scavenger that could intimidate even dire wolves away from their kills. While dire wolves had the advantage of numbers and endurance, these powerful rivals ensured that survival in the Ice Age was a constant struggle, with every hunt or scavenged meal potentially turning into a deadly confrontation. Around 13,000 years ago, the world of the dire wolf changed forever. As the Ice Age came to an end, rising temperatures and shifting ecosystems led to the extinction of many of the giant herbivores that dire wolves depended on for food. Bison and mammoths disappeared, and with them, the dire wolf's primary food sources. At the same time, a new predator arrived on the scene, early humans. Evidence suggests that humans not only hunted megafauna to extinction, but may have also outcompeted dire wolves by hunting the same prey. Meanwhile, the more adaptable gray wolf, Canis lupus, which could survive on smaller animals and scavenge more efficiently, managed to persist, while the specialized dire wolf could not. By the time the last dire wolf disappeared, it had ruled the Ice Age for over 250,000 years but nature had finally dealt its final blow. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content about prehistoric creatures and the mysteries of our planet, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to explore more amazing adventures in the wonders of the natural world. See you next time.